Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from MobileReviewsA.ca and this is a tips and tricks and maybe a huh, I can do that with my iPhone. I discovered fast app switching while reviewing the Thule Atmos X5 as I was trying to figure out the sensitivity of the edges. I discovered that if you want to get between two apps, your two most recent apps very quickly, you just press down on a corner and you just swipe over. It's pretty damn quick. Now, you can also get to your multitasking. If you were to press down a little bit, slide to the middle and go up, you can get to the entire multitasking part of iOS. I'm sure that everybody knows that getting to your multitasking, you just double click on the home button. So this entire way of switching requires you not to double tap the home button. Is this tip very useful? Well, I'm gonna explore that after the uh, intro. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? .ca. At mobilereviews.ca, we base everything we do on real usage. So when it comes to tips, tricks, and huh, I can do that, we pay a lot of attention to why it's actually important. Instead of going through a four-minute video with a thousand tips and tricks, we're going to focus on one, tell you why it's important, tell you maybe why it's not important, why you wouldn't use it. The only time that I've noticed me using this trick is when I need to copy data between two apps. So if I'm replying to Facebook page uh, comments, I usually go between that and Bitly. And it's much quicker being able to swipe through it it, things just seem to flow a little better uh, instead of using the double home button. Now before we talk about the constraints and why you wouldn't or would use this, I'm going to do it a little slower and you will notice if you're an iPhone 6 user and you've been watching this video, you can't do this with an iPhone 6. I think it's baked into force touch, so you need to have a 6S or 6S Plus in order for this to work. I know burns Apple, but it is what it is. So all you need to do is to press down on the edge of your iPhone and swipe to your right. Uh, if you swipe across the entire face of the iPhone, that will bring you to your previous app. So you can easily sw switch between the two apps that you've most recently used. Now, if you want to get to the full multitasking menu or the full multitasking functionality, press down on the right left side, swipe to the middle and kind of flick up. That's kind of the easiest way I found that you can get to the multitasking pane for iOS. Now, there are a couple of constraints. The first one is it only works for the 6S versions of the uh, iPhone, which is kind of silly. The second one is that it's finicky like it's it takes a lot of practice like I've been doing this for several days now so I finally kind of got it pat but you kind of got to figure the right pressure between that and force touch as well as leaving it on the screen long enough so it doesn't register it as an actual press the third constraint is that it doesn't work for all apps as you can see here I'm trying to switch between Instagram and the walking a walking dead game and you can't go out of the walking dead game without actually going pressing the home button or double clicking on the home button and doing it through the old-fashioned way now the last reason why this isn't very useful is that it's partly related to number two which is it's incredibly finicky right doing a double tap on the home button is almost a sure bet that's going to bring up the multitasking capability of ios unless you've mastered the press swipe slightly and go flick up method um, then you're going to miss you're going to hit and miss a bunch of times which means that you're going to slow down your entire process and i personally get very very annoyed when things don't go my way when it comes to computers anyways so that's all i got for this fast app tip and trick this is more like a huh i can do that with my iphone if you have any other tips or tricks um, that you want me to explore with, you know, everybody who watches these videos, I'd be more than happy to. You could send me a message through my website or through on Facebook or leave it in the comments section below or through all the other social media platforms that I am on. That's kind of all I got. If the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Did you find Monty? Did you find Monty? Did you find them? Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.